So, Karemo Nation, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. This one's a little bit different. This is not really our regular Arsenal career mode or a rebuild. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. Let's do this. I want to take five to ten years of Darwin at Liverpool and see what he can accomplish and what he can become. Obviously, you can see I'm a Befica fan. So, with me being a Befica fan, I am very interested on in seeing what Darwin can actually become, what he can become, and what he can achieve at this club, at this crazy team that's that that Liverpool has built. We have Luis Diaz, Darwin Nunez, Salah, Thiago Henderson, Fabinho, Corneta, Trent. VVD, Robertson, and Alisson is the starting 11. Now, we are going to simulate to the end of the season, but before we do so, I'm doing a few things that Liverpool are doing in real life, like potentially selling Mane and also selling the young Japanese. I think he's Japanese. Uh, he goes by the name of Mini or something like that. I don't really know how to say his name, but I'm going to make sure I sell him, and I'm also going to sell Origi because those players are out already. So with that being said, I'm going to sell those guys, and we're going to see what Darwin becomes after season one. Now, I do want to say I did not come up with the concept of this. Many people within the FIFA community do this, but realistically, a lot Lot of people in the NBA community do this. NBA is really big on rebuilds and all this crazy stuff. So big ups to all the YouTubers who came up with this. I just want to see what Darwin becomes. And let me know what player you want to see us do next. I'm thinking City with ha City with Holland. Holland with City. There we go. Hey, before we go any further, could you smash a big old thumbs up? This is a brand new channel. We just got 11,000 subscribers, which is amazing. But if we could hit 1,500 likes, we'll do more of these if you guys actually enjoy them. All right, let's jump into the content. All right, boys, our first business here on the Darwin uh, rebuild with Liverpool is Mini. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and sell him. I don't really care what we get. But in real life, supposedly, he's on the way out. I read it. My boy, Fab. I don't know if you guys follow Fab, but he tweeted out that Mini will no longer be staying at Liverpool. So, hey, he's on the way out. We're not going to let this man go on loan. We're going to keep him around. Let's go ahead and sell Mane, and then we'll see what happens in the season one. Okay, boys, listen. Mane sold. He went to Leicester. Forget about that. That's not realistic, so don't worry about that part. I just need him out of the club. Now, with that being said, here we go. Let me explain what's going on here. I'm not touching the team anymore. We've played two games already this season. I had to simulate to sell Mane. And um, well, what happened was they won two games. So, Liverpool has won two games to start this season off. Salah has three goals. Darwin Nunez has one. Good start to Darwin Nunez's career here at Liverpool. Two games, one goal. Let's see what it looks like at the end of the season. I will see you guys after season one to look at what Darwin accomplished with his first season with Liverpool. Do they win the league? Do they win the Champions League? Does he score a lot of goals? We're going to find out. I will see you guys on May 23rd. All right, guys. After season one, it looks like they got eliminated in like the semifinals to Bayern, unfortunately. But let's see what happened this season, man. Let's see what really took place. Liverpool win the league. What a crazy comeback because we were losing a lot of games. Liverpool win the league. City comes second. United come third. Chelsea come fourth. Austin Villa come fifth. Spurs come sixth. Newcastle come seventh. And Arsenal comes eighth. Honestly, this, this looks pretty realistic if you ask me. Okay, my ratings are 58. I might get fired here, boys, but... At the end of the day, let's see what Darwin has done. They won the league. Darwin went to an 81 overall. Let's check out the stats. After season one, Darwin picked up 25 goals and two assists. If you are a Liverpool fan, are you happy with Darwin bagging 25 goals and two assists? I would say that's a beautiful. Luis Diaz picked up 16 and 11. That's beautiful. Jota with 11 and 4. That's beautiful. Henderson with 10. So they win the Premier League. It's not bad. Let's see what else they won in season one. We got to get more though, man. Let's see what else they accomplished. They won the Champions League. I mean, they won the league. Did they win the FA Cup? Yes. They won the FA Cup on, on pens. And then who won this cup? City. Congratulations to City. They got silverware. The Super Cup went to Chelsea. Champions League winner? Let's find out. The Champions League winner was Juve. Okay, Ronaldo leaves. They win the Champions League. PSG, they get silverware with Messi. There you go. Season one is complete. Let's go to season two and see who we have to purchase and see what Darwin does. All right, guys, welcome to season two of the Liverpool Darwin Nunez career. We are going to pick up Jude Bellingham. Milner retired, so we are going to pick up Jude Bellingham. He's someone that's heavily linked to make a move to Liverpool at some point. So we are going to snatch him up right now. All right, boys, I told you guys we would make one big signing, and this is the big signing we're making. I'm going to offer $100 million on Jude Bellingham. I'm going to give them a big sell-on and uh, see if we can get this done. Jude Bellingham for 100 It's a done deal. Welcome to the club, man. Big boy Jude Bellingham. And that's the only signing we are making. So is he going directly into the lineup? That's the question. Does Jude Bellingham go directly into the lineup? I say yes. So he takes Henderson's spot. Salah, Darwin Nunez, Luis Diaz, Thiago Fabinho, Jude Bellingham, Goneta, 
Trent, VVD, Robertson, Ali Sun. Off the bench, we got Bobby White Teeth, Henderson. This is the starting 11. That's our bench. Let's see how the boys do. Boys, the season just ended, and I can confirm that Liverpool has won the Champions League against Napoli. The final was Liverpool versus Napoli. In season two, they win the Champions League. They don't win the league, though. So in season one, they won the league. In season two, they win the Champions League. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. All right, let's go check some stuff out before we check out on Darwin. I want to head over here real quick and look at the news because I want to see who won player of the tournament. So player of the tournament goes to Mo Salah once again, correct? That's for the Champions League, though, I think. And then goalie was Ali Sun again. Guys, I think this is for the champion. Oh, no, 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 no. That's for the that's for the league. Mo Salah wins back-to-back -back Premier League player of the years. Let's check who the top goal score were. Salah with 27. Sonny D with 23. And my boy Darwin is not even on this list. Let's check this out. Let's see the stats. What did Darwin do in season two? Darwin picked up 20 goals and four assists. Luis Diaz with 21. Mo Salah with 43 goals. That is unbelievable. So Darwin took a step backwards. Season one, he picked up 25 goals. Season two, he picks up 20. But this year, he picked up four assists. So that's not bad. Also, he got a plus four for season number two. Very interesting. Man, Mo Salah with 43 goals. That's incredible. My man has to win a Ballon d'Or, right? And he won Champions League. That's crazy. Guys, welcome to season number three of Liverpool. They're offering 243 for, for, for my boy uh, Mo Salah in season three. Obviously, we're not going to sell him. I just want to show you. Also, they offered a crazy amount of money for Jota. So money's crazy in season three. We're about to pick up a brand new striker because we lost Bobby. Bobby left the club because I didn't renegotiate him. But I feel like Bobby would eventually leave. Will eventually leave, 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 leave Liverpool regardless. So here in season three, we're going to pick up a young player um, out of RB. And we're going to offer around 55 million. And um, yeah see what happens there okay it gets done i definitely overpaid there probably definitely definitely overpaid but again this is going to be um the replacement to bobby um we have darwin who is now an 85 overall luis diaz 88 Salah 93 jude bellingham is an 84 fabingo is a 90 tiago's an 88 and uh, the back line 89 91 84 91 and a 91 one thing i want to say is darwin really i don't think grew that much he grew more going from season one to season two than he did season two to season three, I think. Anyways, we are going to enter this season and um, hopefully have another fantastic season. So with that being said, let's take a look real quick at free agency, see what happened in free agency, and then we'll jump into uh, the end of season three. All right, boys, you saw the lineup. Uh, free agency, nobody was really available. So I'm going to see you on May 23rd, as always, May 23rd. 2024 to see what darwin does in season number three let's go okay guys after season three we're in back-to-back -back finals and the finals against city which means they can finally get themselves a champions league if they could beat us let's see what happens with klopp and and, and darwin in season three who wins it here we go here we go does guardiola finally get it no we go back to back in the Champions League. Guardiola still can't win a Champions League, boys. So Liverpool has gone back to back. They're going for the Real Madrid, the trio. They're going for three. Poor Guardiola, man. Okay, who won the league? Guardiola wins the league on 85 points. Then comes Liverpool. Then comes Chelsea. Then comes Austin Villa. Then comes Arsenal. Then comes United. Then comes Burnley. What in the Spurs in ninth place? Damn. Okay, Austin Villa. Is that their highest finish ever? No, I think Austin Villa won a league before, right? Or am I tripping? Maybe I'm tripping. I think like way back in like a Zebu times. Anyways, let's go see who won play, a player of the year. Here we go. Player of the year went to Mo Salah does it again in the Champions League. Unbelievable. Mo Salah is that guy, boys. All right, Mo Salah wins Champions League player. Top goal scores. Here we go. Darwin Nunez coming in with 25 Behind Lukaka with 26. Salah only dropped 23. Correa drops 23. Who got the top assist? Kevin De Bruyne. Makes sense. Kevin's that guy, huh? Thiago with 6. Salah with 6. Ayo. Hey, Darwin Nunez with 25. Not bad. Let's see what else he did this season. He grew to an 87. 
So plus three in season three. And his stats were what? All competitions, 29 goals. So this is his most goals ever. And he only picked up one assist. But he grew by two. And he won the Champions League again. So season one, he got 25 goals with two assists. Grew by five. And um, won the Premier League. Right? Then in the second season, he won the Champions League. Only scoring 20 goals with four assists. And season three, he scored 29 with one assist. And Mo Salah has gotten player of the, of the year every single year. Mo Salah's that guy. But he played 60 games, uh, uh, Darwin did. That's crazy. Luis Diaz, 5-8. and eight. Not bad season. Not a bad season. Let's talk about other things. Luis Diaz is now a 90. Jude Bellingham, an 87. Fo, uh, Fabinho, a 90. Thiago Silva, 87. VVD, a 91. We got my boy Conetia. Co Conetta. Conetti. I suck with his name. He's an 85. Trent's a 91. Robo's a 91. And Alisson's a 91. Also, our new striker grew to an 82. And Joe Gomez is an 85. Jota is now an 89. Crazy. Season, th season three was a blast for Liverpool. Okay, guys, we're here for official season number four. Darwin is now an 87 overall, which is looking absolutely beautiful. And for this next, um, the next signing that we're going to make is going to be someone I personally think either like a Goretzka um, or something similar to that, to be honest with you. We love the way the team looks, to be honest. We don't really need much, but I think maybe signing someone like a Goretzka might be good for the future. As um, a few of the players start to get, you know, a little bit up there in age. Um, so with that being said, I think that's the best move for us right now. So what we're going to do is pick up Goretzka. He'll be the one signing of the year. Goretzka at the moment is now a 29-year-old player. So we're a few seasons in. Some of the younger players that we all know and love are starting to get up there on in age. Um, but Goretzka is going to go ahead and join the club, man. I think this will be... A massive signing for the boys. We're going to offer probably like 130-ish. As you guys can see, we have a ton of money because um, we only sign one player a year. But hey, at the end of the day, you know, we're winning the league. So that all that really, I mean, we're winning the Champions League and we won the league once. So Darwin has been exceptional for the club. We're going to go ahead and pay 165 for uh, 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 Goretzka. A little bit of expensive uh, signing, but a very, very, very important signing in my opinion as he'll end up helping us hopefully win the league because that's the next thing we need to win so this is the only signing for season four as i said we only sign usually one or two players but usually just one let's get goretzka signed up and uh let's make sure this boy um is happy with the team and uh let's make sure that we can finally get ourselves a nice little league let's get a five-year league deal out of him boys let's get only three let's counter with four come on i don't want to be negotiating with you later there we go okay I accept no release clause how much money do you want do you want to tell us or no of course you don't want to tell us okay how about you take um, how about you take 290 and I even give you some money because we're rich. We are a rich club. We just throw money at people. There we go. Goretzka signed up. We throw money at people. We overpay a lot. Going into season number three, remember Darwin's won the Champions League twice, the, the Premier League once. He scored 25 goals, 20 goals, and then 29 goals in the season so far. Our only signing for this one, like I said, is going to be big boy Goretzka. He is officially with the team and um, hopefully he is going to do absolute big boy things with the team do we bench tiago i don't think so i don't think i'm gonna bench tiago for him i mean i could bench tiago that's is higher do we bench tiago for him I mean, we could he is a high overall maybe we should all right that's gonna be the way it stands i will catch you guys in my manager thing is very very low so hopefully that doesn't affect us but i will catch you guys on may as always may 23rd this time 2025 to see if the boys can finally win the league um, wait, is it going further? Looks like it's not. We're going to May 2028. I mean, May 20, May 28, 2025. There we go. All right, boys, I will see you guys then. Let's go. So I know this is going to sound crazy, but they're in another Champions League final. And this time it's against Real Madrid. The team that did three in a row with Zidane and Ronaldo and Modric has a chance to stop Liverpool from doing three in a row. Let's see if that happens. Let's see what takes place on the 31st of May Real Madrid loses. We beat them on penalties, which means Liverpool has won three Champions Leagues in a row with Darwin. This is crazy. Three Champions Leagues in a row. Did they win the league? Yes. They won the league by one point, boys. This is crazy. So in season number four, it's a Champions League and a Premier League for Liverpool. With Man City coming second, Arsenal coming third, great season for Arsenal, Chelsea coming four, Spurs coming five, United coming six, and Everton coming 
seven. Now, I got to say, United's only come three. Third, that's their highest in these four seasons. So United really got to get their stuff together. Let's go ahead and see what else has taken place around the league really quickly. Let's go check out some news. Mo Salah has won every player of the, the year. And again, did he get it again? Let's see. Let's see who wins it this time. This time, the player of the tournament of the Champions League is actually... Wait, wait, wait. What's this? Who? Who? Oh, Griezmann. Absolutely incredible, man. Let's see what Darwin has done. This is important to us, isn't it? Let's see what Darwin's done. Top goal scorer is going to be Salah. And Darwin is not... Yes, he is. He's on this list with only 14, boys. So this might be his lowest season of goals. But they won absolutely everything that they could win. The most important stuff. All right, let's check it out real quick. Stats. Goals for Darwin is going to be... His biggest season yet. His biggest season yet. 38 goals. 5 assists. So he did 25, 20, 29... Um, 38 crazy amount of goals so 25 20 29 and 38 and then two assists four assists one assist and five assists he goes ahead and gets himself a plus one for this season and they win the epl and the champions league and that is absolutely insane boys absolutely crazy to see and i want to say darwin might be injured or maybe he got a red card i'm not sure what's going on there um but that, my friends, is how the season number four pays out, plays out. The FA Cup goes to Liverpool. Um, this cup goes to Spurs. So Liverpool won the Champions League, the FA Cup, and the Premier League. Absolutely incredible stuff. The Super Cup also went to Liverpool. Four trophies in season number four. Three Champions Leagues in a row. That, my friends, is absolutely insane. Let's see what season five has in store for Liverpool absolutely crazy so the signing for this season is going to be timber who is at sevilla boys now the reason we're signing timber is for one reason and one reason only the reason we're signing him is because we've gotten strikers we've gotten wingers we've gotten midfielders but we never really messed around with the defense that much so i think today needs to be a or this season season five needs to be a season where we offer some good money for a center back and no 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 you don't understand no 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 no, no. stop 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 that um, okay, listen, this is what I'll do. I'll give you 95 million because I see you're being stingy about it and we can get a deal done. Boom, done. Timber's coming in for 95 million. This is exactly what we needed in our lives, man. Let's let them go ahead and negotiate it. Hopefully that gets done as quickly as possible and we bring in a brand new center back to the club for this upcoming season, season number five. Ladies and gentlemen, Timber accepts. He's here for four seasons on 150. That's our big signing for this season. First season we signed, um, the first season we brought in, first season obviously Darwin, the second season we brought in Jude Bellingham, the third season we brought in Goretzka, and the fourth, no wait, the fourth season we brought in Goretzka, and the fifth season we bring in Timber. If any of that makes sense, then um, we did absolute dubs. If not, then I apologize. Um, oh yeah, we also brought in the young striker as a backup. So Darwin is now an 85 overall. That is season uh, number five. He is an 85 overall, or excuse me, an 88 overall. And um, we're gonna see where he gets to. Diaz, 82, 92. Salah, 93. Jude Bellingham, 90. Goretzka, an 89. Jude Bellingham grows crazy. He grew so fast already. The back line, VVD at an 89. Uh, Robertson at an 89. Uh, Trent at a, at a, at a, at a 92 and uh, Conetta at an 85. But the reason I wanted to bring in a center back is because VVD is starting to get up there in age, boys. And we got to make sure the future looks good. So that's going to be the lineup for season number five. I'm going to quickly check contracts to make sure nobody gets away from us. And then I'm going to see you guys once again for season five in May, probably 28th or maybe further when we get the Champions League for the fourth season in a row. We'll see. All right. So we get to May 26. And I can tell you this time we do not win the Champions League because we beat Aleti 1-0 but then Liverpool gets smacked 4-1 to uh to Atletico Madrid so they don't win the Champions League in season five they did the three in a row like Real Madrid but they couldn't get the fourth one so their season ended like that did they win the league yes Liverpool wins the league with a lot of points to be honest then City comes second Everton comes third Manchester United comes fourth, Chelsea comes fifth, Wolves come sixth, and less and uh, uh, Arsenal comes seventh. Really crazy. Top goal score. We're gonna find all that out right now. But at least they got the league, man, because they didn't get the Champions League. Top goal score. Darwin Nunez came second. My boy. Oh wow, Arsenal bought him. Incredible. Arsenal bought the Everton man. They got 25 goals. Salah got 20 goals. 
Very great season for Darwin once again. Let's see how much he grew. He is now an 89 overall. Jude Bellingham, a 93, dude. Crazy, crazy. VVD down to an 86, boys. VVD starting to get up there in age. It's not looking good for VVD, boys. But that's why we bought the replacement in Timber. With the goals, let's see, 39 for Darwin Nunez. So he tops his most ever with 39 and three assists. How did it go? It went plus one as well. So Darwin Nunez now has first season 25, second season 20, 20 uh, third season 29, uh, season four 38, and season five 39. Assists go two, four, one, five, and three, and he grew by two, and they won the Premier League this season, but no Champions League, which is interesting. Let's see if they won any other competition. Um, that's crazy, man. Five seasons of who won the Shield game? It's going to go to City. Who won the FA Cup? It goes to Liverpool. Liverpool won two competitions, and they lose this one. It goes to City. So there you guys have it. And the Super Cup goes to Liverpool. Liverpool, once again, wins four trophies. But unfortunately, they do not get the Champions League. Darwin had an unbelievable season, no doubt about it. I got to go ahead and make sure contracts are all looking good as we go into season. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh, he's going to get away. Robertson gets away and so does VVD. So I, I may have forgot to resign them in January. And that's why it's a great place to end. You know, maybe they're retiring actually. They might actually be retiring. You know, they actually might be retiring. Let me make are they retiring? I hope they're retiring, bro. Please tell me they're retiring because if they're not retiring, then 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 that's not looking then I messed up. Trent is one of the best. He's the one, he didn't get away. Who got away? Robertson got away, right? I believe Robertson got away and VVD got away. Let me look. VVD joining Chelsea, joining PSG. Hey, y'all. I just want to say thank you guys so much, so much for watching five seasons with Darwin. I got the stats right here. If y'all can kind of see them, you can't really see them. But Darwin, let me, let me bring them down. I'm going to make sure you can see them. Darwin Nunez had an awesome, awesome, awesome five seasons at Liverpool. He's not going to be a flop based off of... FIFA, as you guys can see, season one, 25 goals, two assists, plus five EPL they won. Then they won the Champions League, Champions League, and the Champions League three seasons in a row, getting 20 goals, 29 and 38. And then his final season picked up 29 goals, three assists, went up by two and won the Premier League. That is five seasons of Darwin Nunez. And then I low key messed up and let Robertson and VVD get away by accident. That was my fault, 100%. But Darwin grew to an 89 after five seasons. Three Champions Leagues, three Premier Leagues in five seasons for Darwins. I think every Liverpool fan out there would be happy with that. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you want to see more of this, let me know what player you want to see in the comments down below. Smash that thumbs up. I would have went to 10 seasons, but I kind of messed up on VVD and Robertson. I love you guys so much. I appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully you enjoy the content. I will catch you guys back here tomorrow for another career mode video. Thanks for watching. Booyah.